Oscar has to be behind this. I have to stop them. Excuse me? We have to stop them. And, you know, the camera likes you, Uli. Already in the papers, huh? The train operators weren't aware of the situation, so the only benefit is that our armies received some extra weapons. Do we have any other leads? Not... right now. Back to reality. Why didn't you tell me that Iris was missing? We have plenty of work to do with all these events. But you know that Oscar is still out there somewhere, and she's in danger. I know, but she refused police protection. Anyway, you had to do something. Forget it. Are you sure that Boyan called this office? I am. We can start by searching the office. I found an earring. Blood on an earring. You think this is something Iris would wear? Expensive and fashionable. It's likely hers. We should have Dirk confirm it. Maybe there was a scuffle and somebody tore the earring off her. We need more clues to get on Iris's tail and find out where they took her. Clues. Like a footprint? There's one right here. A German combat boot. Easy to recognize because of its unique hobnail print. So a German serviceman kidnapped Iris? We can't be sure. Either way, I think Boyan was calling the kidnapper. Not Iris. Hmm. Iris isn't involved because she resisted, judging by the earring. But if Boyan and this German guy were trying to smuggle weapons into Spain, what does Oscar have to do with any of this? And why Iris? We're missing something. Let's look for more clues in the hall. I found a pouch. Peculiar. Uli, you should see this. Is it some kind of tobacco? I think it's Yopo snuff. Yopo is a perennial tree, native to the Caribbean and South America. It's been used as a hallucinogen for thousands of years. How do you know all this? For one case I investigated, I had to read everything that had been published about South American tribes. Could you have Dirk confirm it, though? Will do. All we can do now is see where the evidence leads us. Let's go and see Dirk. I'll try talking to the bartender at the cabaret. Maybe he knows something about Iris. Anna, please be careful. Good night.
Usually there's more going on here on a Friday night. Hello? Guess I'll be coming here tomorrow morning again. Taxi! Taxi! Bergstrasse, Eure Tages. Say, aren't you Anna Myers, the journalist? I am, yes. Huge fan. I often talk about your stories with passengers. Thank you. Travis. I first saw you a year ago. You were wearing a yellow dress. I believe you must have mistaken me for somebody else. Yellow's not my color. It's a breath of fresh air, seeing you in this filthy, rotten, heaving mass of a city. Like an open sewer that nobody bothered to close. This city could really do with somebody capable of cleaning it up. Like who? You. You'd be a great president, Miss Myers. Oh, Travis, that line of work's not really for me. Why are we stopping? Let's keep going toward Vergstrasse. Excuse me, but I have to pick up a friend. It's on the way. God! We've got you a hat. See if it fits. What's taking so long? Patience. Enjoy the game. Got to get out of here. Think, Anna, think. Maybe I could pick the lock with one of Iris's hairpins. Great, I found a hairpin. Sorry, Iris. Desperate times. Time to open the lock and get out of here. One lock closer to freedom. I need a weapon. For Miss Myers. Go to hell, psycho. Where to now? Anyway, it's better than back there, I'd say.
They made a passage directly to the sewers. It's high time I left this hellhole. That might be harder than I thought. might help me to open it. This gaff might help me to open it. Gerhard or Dara again. Better to wait here a while. I need to hide. Fingers crossed. 